For practice it, exercise 6.15 coin flip. We need to write a method named coin flip that accepts as its parameter a scanner for an input file. So we're going to have public static coin flip. And as our parameter, we're going to have a scanner and we're going to call it file because it's an input file. We need to assume that the input file data represents results of sets of coin flips that are either heads or tails in either upper or lower case, separated by at least one space. So we're going to ignore casing in here. Our method should consider each line to be a separate set of coin flips and should output to the console the number of heads and the percentage of heads in that line rounded to the nearest tenth. And if our percentage is more than 50%, we are to print out you win. So this is a lot to do, but we're going to start with just looking at this and doing what it wants us to do and looking at this output. So it wants us to calculate the amount of H's that we have in this first row. We're going to use this first row as an example. So we need a while loop to do this and we're going to run this. Um, well, we're going to actually run this entire thing while our file has an X line so we can get all of these lines. We're going to do while file has next line. This way we can analyze all of our lines. And then we can actually start looking at each individual line. So we're gonna look at this line first. Well, we don't wanna look at the entire line. We wanna look at all of the different tokens in this line and compare the H's and the T's. So we're gonna need a new scanner to go through this. We're gonna say scanner line is equal to new scanner where we take the input dot next line. That way we can scan this entire line. Once we have this, we can move on to the next part. So we have all of this inside of our scanner line. And now we know that we're gonna have to count the amount of heads. So we're going to initialize heads below this. And we also need to count the amount of coins that we have total because we're gonna need a percentage of heads to the total. So heads divided by the total. So this means we're gonna have int heads and we're going to set this equal to zero just to initialize it because originally we have no heads and then we're going to have int tails and that's going to be equal to zero also i'm sorry not tails but this should be total and the reason why it's total is because it's getting every single time this coin is flipped so this is going to be equal to zero and this is the sole purpose of finding this percentage now we're going to need a while loop and we're going to run our while loop while our line has next that way we can analyze each of these tokens so we're going to say well line dot has next and then we are going to be inside of this while loop once we close off the brackets like this so we're going to need an if statement and we're going to do if our line is h or if our current token is h we are just going to add one to heads and add one to the total if it's not an h we're going to just add one to the total. So we can say here that if our line dot has next is equal to um, H, we're going to be in this if statement. We need to store our current line. That way we can go through it every single time, or we need to store the current token. That way every time we go through this while loop, we get the next token. So we have a string token is equal to line dot next. Now we want to ignore the casing here. So what we can do is just make everything lowercase we can force it to be lowercase and to do this we're going to use the dot to lowercase method that is a string method and it's just going to be line dot next dot to lower case now every token that's passed in here so every single one of these is just going to be pushed to a lower case and we're going to say if our token dot equals and in here we'll have h if our token equals h that means we're going to have to have heads plus plus and we're going to also need total plus plus if our um, token does not equal h so we're going to say else if we could also just do an else statement but i like specifying what's going in here we're going to copy this we're going to say else if token dot equals t for tails we're going to be in here and we're just going to do total plus plus and since our total is plus plus, we are not incrementing our heads, only the total, because that means we've gone through a tail. So 
after this, we are going to need to start doing our math. And we're going to do this once we break out of this inner while loop. Because this inner while loop is just to count all of these. Now we need to print everything out. So outside of this while loop, we are going to start doing our math. We'll have a double. This is the part where our math is. We're going to have our percentage is equal to, and then we're going to find a percent here. Well, to find a percentage, we need to multiply it by 100. So we'll do 100. 0 0.0 because it needs to be a double times and then we are um, rounding it to the tenth degree so it's going to be point 0.0 so this is the tenth right here it's going to be times the amount of heads we have and then it's going to be divided by the total um, coins we have between heads and tails so this is going to give us our percentage now we need to format this percentage because we if we if we print it out it's going to give a super long number. So we need to format it to make sure it only prints at the tenths place. And we'll actually keep going on with this code and come back to it to see how we can fix this. There's also a link below on how to do basic string formatting, so that might be helpful here. So we're just going to do a system.out.print line. Again, we're skipping the formatting for now just to show what would happen if we didn't format it. And we are going to do, we're going to print out heads because it wants us to print out this, the number of heads. So we're going to say heads. And then now we need our string where we say heads. And then we're going to have our parenthesis like this. And then we want to have our percentage in here. So we're going to say percentage. And then and lastly, we are just going to have the percentage sign and then the ending parenthesis like this. So this is what we're printing out the heads, the string heads, we need spacing right here, and then the parenthesis, and then the percentage sign parenthesis. Once we have all this, we have this printed out, and then we have one last thing we need to take care of, and that is if our percentage is greater than 50%, we need to print out you win. So what we're going to do is have an if statement after this. We're going to say if our percentage is greater than 50.0, this is 50%. If our percentage is greater than 50%, we are just going to print out a you win. So do print line, and then in here we have you win with an exclamation mark. And this is what it wants us to print. We can see that in the example it gave us right here and right here. But if we were passed in multiple coin flips, multiple lines of coin flips, we need to have a spacing in between all of them once they all end. So after if statement, we're just going to have a system .out line, and this we'll just write a comment right here, and we can say that it is just for spacing because that's all it's for. If we run this, we're going to see that I definitely suck at putting in semicolons, and also that we need to make this a public static void because it is not returning anything. We also need to spell scanner correctly. I suck at spelling. And I also made another error right here. I don't know why I call this input.nextline. This should be file.nextline because we are saying that while file has a next line and then we are scanning through the actual next line. So if we submit this, we can see that we passed two out of three tests. We didn't pass this test though because like I was saying, we need to format this number. And to do that, we have to do a string.format and we're gonna do this above this line right here. So we need to format it to where it's only one after the decimal, so to the tenths place. So we're gonna do a string, and we're gonna call it percentage, or we'll just call it percent %f for formatting. And we're gonna set this equal to string.format. This is a string method. And in here, we're gonna format our string. We need parentheses and then a comma. What's going to be inner parentheses is just a percentage sign. We're going to have 0.1f, and this will make it a 0.1 floating number. So it's going to be um, one variable or one value after the decimal place, and it's a float because it's a double. And we're just going to pass in percentage. And then we need to change this to percent %f. If we submit this, we can see that we've passed all the tests. So. I, I fixed my semicolons, um, I changed this line to be correctly spelled to be file.nextline because we are reading in the file.next line, and then I added a void here because we need a void return type, and then I lastly just 
fix the formatting here. This formatting is super key and is the only way to really get this to print out properly. And we combine it with this line and then we have our if statement. So this is the code that will answer this problem and give us this answer.